of all the jobs that it would be hard to find out your friend does, I think like them banging on your door and and arresting you. That's really rough. But I think a rougher one would be if you found out your friend was Jigsaw. Because oh, that would fuck. be very unfortunate to wake up and you're like, your butt has been manacled <laughs> to someone else's butt. And he's like, tear your own butts off if you want to live. Yes. And also, <laughs> Greg, it's so nice to see you. Uh, Justin, just to clarify, you think um, the profession of cop is definitely hard, but much more difficult is the profession of serial killer. <laughs> I'm saying it's hard to find out that your friend killer. has been jigsawed the whole time. Tra- I'm and, saying that that would be very shocking. And that is, and that is unfa- an unfair association, Travis. Jigsaw is not just a serial killer. He also, like, it takes a lot of work to make all those bone mazes and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a lot of work. But this is, okay, Yeah, you know what's hard? Finding out your friend's a cop. You know what's harder? Finding out that your friend is you from an alternate dimension, but evil, and send there oh, to kill shit. you. Oh, shit. Travis That would definitely be hard. That would be really difficult. Find out that your friend is a robot sent from the future whose only job is to erase your existence before oh, you like, solve hate, world peace. I hate that. Right, I we've can't all trust, been there. Who can I trust anymore? Pick up the bandsaw you find at your feet. I bought you this. I bought you this bandsaw. I I bought you this for your birthday. Wait, no, this is my fucking bandsaw. I let you borrow it. Hey, yeah, wait a minute. This is my... You can have it back afterwards. You'll have to find the key. You gave me your spare keys. Oh. Oh, shit, that's right. Oh, yeah. Anyway, fill up this bucket with your own butt meat. No, and it'll raise the portcullis. I don't want to raise the portcullis. (laughs) Is this your den? It is. It It is. I love what you've done. Am I still going to see you for barbecue on first? Yes, fine. We said we'd come. We said we'd be there. Guess what, what? we're having? I don't want to guess what we're having. <laughs> I'll stick to potato uh. salad. I'll stick to potato salad and prepackaged Kroger cookies. Thank guess, you. Guess what? Thank we're, you guess much. what we're going to be having? Are you going to grill and cook my butt meat that I put in the bucket <laughs> to counterweight the portcullis? No, it's we got kosher franks. <laughs> don't oh, be a dick. Weird. Don't be a dick about this. Don't be a the dick. Butt you know meat, I, I'm I can't believe I have to explain this to you. The butt meat portcullis maze trap. It's supposed to teach you about the value of the your life and stuff. I love you. I love you. You've just seemed really <laughs> down lately, and I want to make you appreciate the things that you have and the butt that you're left with. Uh, so can I go, or are you two gonna... Hey, do you mind? <laughs> We're working some shit out. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I filled up the bucket with my butt meat to open the port calls. Can I go? One moment. You're also under arrest. That's right. <laughs> Officer Jigsaw. <laughs> Reporting for duty. I'm also a doctor and a lawyer. I, I have a lot of free time. Get in, my, get in my paddy wagon. Can I stand up in the paddy wagon? Do I have to sit <laughs> down? Because it's I have a situation back here now. I love you a lot. I know we're good I love friends. You so much. We're really good friends. You introduced me to my wife. Yeah, I did. That's you're <laughs> yes. right. Greg, sit up front. <laughs> Come on. You don't need to ride the back paddy wagon with that other wiener. But Can put I a, the music. Put, put a towel down. <laughs> we'll listen to the new Adele album. <laughs> I bought you that new. Thank you. Yeah. It's, you really know my tastes. It was a gift for my adult bar mitzvah. I'm the most interesting character the McElroy brothers have ever conceived. <laughs> They've been sitting on me for a while, which is ironic, because you won't be sitting on anything. <laughs>